Hello, my name is Richie from Reggie Response, and today I want to talk about a really touchy subject, um, YouTube drama. A lot of you know that I've been partaking in a little bit of YouTube drama um, in the past month or so with Tyler Hagen and MDE, along with Onision, and it caused me to think a lot about the subject. And while we were making these 10 or 15 hour drives, I kind of came to the conclusion uh, in the defense of YouTube drama and its entertainment value that maybe all of YouTube drama isn't so bad. Now, before all the mobs of angry internet people line up at my door to kill me, hear me out here. Now, obviously the types of YouTube drama that are incredibly meaningful and malicious uh, that try and tank people's careers or encourage fans of each artist to make death threats or things are, it's not acceptable. That is really bad types of drama. Obviously there are exceptions with, you know, like pedophiles and people that murder other people. That's also terrible, but that's not the type of drama that I'm talking about here. I'm talking about the type of drama that actually has entertainment value and is, you know, fairly lighthearted. I mean, generally most drama is malicious. Um, but is kind of lighthearted in nature, like, for instance, the channel Drama Alert. I watch it all the time. I know a lot of people do. That channel's super hot right now. Or the channels like Leafy is here and h 3 h Productions. They pretty much thrive off of YouTube drama. That's their existence. And obviously, people enjoy watching these videos. If you watch the view count and a lot of people are talking about these different channels and people who just make a living off of starting drama, and I think there's kind of a backbone to that. It's not totally mindless. And it's mainly because people love drama. No one wants to admit it, but it actually is a ton of fun. I mean, I had a ton of fun watching the Leafy and H3H3 Productions duke it out over a few handful of YouTube videos. Um, not because I was like, wanted them to tear each other to shreds, but it's kind of interesting to see how each of them held up. Uh, in a fight. And obviously I'm not making this video to highlight the drama I've been having over the past month uh, with people I've said before, but I think there is some entertainment value, uh, like with Onision uh, and, and, and the different replies back and forth and how they get dumber and dumber. Um, part of it is a joke, part of it isn't, but I think overall I had fun making the videos, uh, you know, replying to his videos. And the videos against Tyler Hagen and parts of MDE. I made that parody a few days ago uh, simply because I thought of the idea. I wanted to highlight how ridiculous the situation was. So I made that video and I personally still think it's really funny, so I, I posted it. And I think a portion of you enjoyed it too, whether you wanted to admit it or not. But another thought I had is that if you go all the way back to like plays and stuff, you know, hundreds of years ago, or even like to television uh, in the very start of television. The very lowbrow productions that are on air, uh, like most soap operas, have huge followings, and I always wondered why that is. You know, the, the production value is terrible, the plot lines are insane, uh, who could ever watch this? But at the same time, these shows are all based around drama, and I think that comparison translates very well to the YouTube community. Now, I wanted to address some criticisms I get very often in the comment section when drama is brought up. Uh, the first one is people call me out for being a man-child. They're always like, hey Richie, you need to grow up and stop being such a child and just let this drama go. It is ridiculous. Stop being a baby. And my response to that is currently I do YouTube videos for a living. Uh, obviously not right now, but I do dress up as a giant goth transformer. Just saying that sounds crazy, but it's what I do. So telling me to grow up and be an adult uh, is kind of invalid because I would probably wouldn't be making YouTube videos. I'd be an accountant or an astronaut or something. And another comment I see come up quite often when I bring up YouTube drama or there's a very shady video um, is people saying, oh my god, this isn't high school. Stop acting like you're in high school. Uh, this is the real world. You're in, you're in your 20s. You're a grown man. Stop it. And I thought a lot about that too. And my response to that comment is that YouTube, if you really think about it, at least the YouTube community, is a lot, almost exactly like high school. You have your beauty gurus, you got your gamers, you got your alternative kids, you got your fuckboys, you got all these different cliques, and all the YouTubers are generally, you know, friends with each other in their own little circles, um, and that's exactly what high school is, you know? You have your own little cliques, it's hard to get into those cliques, um, you know, obviously people get bullied, there's lots of shade being thrown around, and fights are inevitable. The only difference between the YouTube communities and high school is that there are hundreds of thousands of people on the sidelines watching all the YouTubers duke it out. And sometimes it's actually pretty funny and interesting uh, if handled correctly. Which I am not saying that it's always handled correctly, sometimes it can be horrible and terrible, but my point of this video is that not all YouTube drama is 
horrible. Sometimes it provides really good entertainment, uh, <laughs> sometimes at the expense of the YouTuber or the people fighting, but you know, YouTube is all about entertainment. Just because most of my videos are singing related or covers or original music doesn't mean all of them have to be. Sometimes if I feel like throwing shade at somebody or throwing the whole tree, uh, I, I, I can do that. That's the beauty of YouTube. So next time you see a fight break out on YouTube over some YouTubers, pull up a chair, bring some popcorn, and let it fizzle out itself. It will always work itself out. It doesn't really need all the repetitive comments to add to it. And I guess the last little anecdote I wanted to leave you for today, since I have to play this show in about an hour, condemning a YouTuber for being a drama magnet is like condemning a professional bodybuilder for lifting weights. It just doesn't really make sense. YouTube is based off of views, and while it is a fantastic place to showcase brand new ideas and works of art, it is also meant for entertainment, so just remember that. And that's all I got for today. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you later if I don't die on tour. Okay, goodbye. Yay.